what is going on meld nation welcome back to the youtube channel my name is farid and in today's video we're going to be breaking down day number 11 of the 25 days of meld now i normally start this off by giving you guys a brief intro as to what's going on i'm going to kind of just breeze over that today but if you guys are looking to find out what i'm actually going to be talking more about i'm going to leave the link to the official 25 days of meld down in the description below now we did recently also review the leaderboards so i am going to skip that as a part of today's video but because we are going to be skipping the introduction and the crew three leaderboards i want to do something that i haven't done before yet now you guys are probably aware that this channel is not necessarily a trading or a price related channel but as a part of today's video i do want to just quickly highlight the fact that we've seen an increase in trading activity when it comes to the melt project now this i personally believe is going to be due to the recent announcement of the 25 days of meld which are going to be a series of announcements related to partnerships and integrations struck by the meld team so what i'm showing you guys here is going to be a one month chart from coin market cap and as you guys can see here around the time that the announcement started which was around the beginning of december we've had a great increase in terms of trading activity as well as the price of the meld token if I actually zoom out a little bit further and we take a look at the three month um, timeline, we can see that prior to this month, we had very little to no action in terms of volume. And since the beginning of the 25 days of melt, we've been trading at almost $1 million worth of trading volume for the melt token. So I did want to highlight that there. Um, that I do believe that these announcements are having an impact on the community and within the crypto space as a whole. Now, do be careful. I never encourage you guys to trade or to take any positions that you may feel uncomfortable doing so, but I didn't want to highlight that before moving any further. Moving over into the official Mel Twitter in order to review the partnership that was struck as a part of day number 11 of the 25 days of meld, we have a partnership with the Carta Station Metaverse. So as a part of this particular partnership, a Meld HQ or headquarters will be set up in the Carta Station metaverse where users can learn and interact directly with the Melt protocol. In addition to that, the Melt team will be holding various Melt sponsored events across the Carta Station metaverse in 2023, and they'll also be providing Melt NFT holders with special benefits within the Carta Station platform. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I personally own a Melt Diamond Hand NFT. As it stands right now, that is the only NFT that has been minted by the Melt team, but we are expecting the mint for the bank managers, I believe, before the end of the year. Now, take that with a grain of salt because these have been delayed for quite a bit of time, but I do think that we may see an announcement releasing the bank managers as a part of the 25 days of Melt. That said, if you hold one of these NFTs, either the BMs or the bank managers for short, or the Diamond Hand NFT, it looks like you may get special access to certain features within the Carta Hub, or excuse me, the Carta Station metaverse. Moving over to the official Meld website, let's take a look to see if we can find out who their integration partner will be for the 12th day of the 12 days of Meld. And so I'm gonna scroll down here. Now the partner is currently on the screen and if you guys actually look at the top left hand corner where we have the advisors, you're going to notice a very small logo up here at the top. And so what I did was I did a little bit of reverse engineering and I was able to track down what this particular logo is associated with. So let me open up a brand new tab and we're going to navigate to Web3 Auth.io, which is going to be short for Web3 Authentication.io. And from here, we can see that Web3 Auth is going to be a simple non-custodial authentication infrastructure that enables Web3 wallets and applications to provide seamless user logins to both mainstream and blockchain users. So using this platform, you'll be able to sign into something like Facebook, Google or Twitter, as you guys can see here in this diagram. And by accessing that particular platform, that's also going to be tied to your Web3 wallet. And so you're going to get seamless access through the use of a single sign on. So I think this is going to do a really good job of simplifying the access to Web3 specifically for users who do not want to mess with their C phrase, managing paper wallets or anything of that nature. 
as the site continues to read here, it's going to provide seamless onboarding for all users. So users who are familiar with Web2 logins will not have to deal with seed phrases or external wallet downloads. And there's also an increase in conversion rates by 74% through a one-click login. Now you will be able to connect your Web3 wallet here um, using this particular MPC solution. So what I see happening here is the Meld team, right? Somehow tying um, a Web2 login platform, right? Maybe Google, Facebook, Twitter, whatever that is, through the Meld app. And then once you actually sign in using that Web2 sign on, you'll then have a Web3 wallet and a Web3 identity tied to that single sign on, which again will simplify the process of Web2 users coming and onboarding into Web3 platforms. So hopefully that gives you guys a heads up as to what we could potentially expect as a partner or an integration as a part of day 12 of the 12 days of melt. Now, if you guys appreciate these timely updates, I would really appreciate it if you guys could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe. And if you guys have any questions or comments about web3auth.io or the partnership with Carta Station, then make sure to leave those comments down below. That said, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.